We're following up a midweek round in the championship by diving straight into round eight this weekend. Here are my predictions for each and every game. Please give me your opinions and predictions on as many of and preferably all of these games down there in the comments. I will reveal how I did with my last set of predictions. It wasn't great, but you'll have to stay tuned until the end. Hull versus Sheffield United. Can Sheffield United do it on the road? They'll streak away with this division if their away form gets anywhere close to their home. We get the top scorer in the league, Estupinian, against a rejuvenated McBurney with two in his last two. We also get the team with the highest XG four against the team with the highest XG conceded. Sounds like it'll be open, but could be the right circumstances for the Blades to break their travelling duck. Away! Norwich versus Coventry. Coventry are trying so hard to get things moving in the wake of their pitch travels, but this is not an ideal time for Mark Robbins to return to his former club. Norwich have won four on the bounce. Dean Smith has seemingly turned the corner and the points are cascading in. Coventry will need the likes of Hamer and Godden to be at it, but it looks like it could well be a fabulous five for Norwich. Home! West Brom versus Burnley. Burnley have gone from not being able to get the job done to back-to-back -back wins in their last two. Meanwhile, I keep backing West Brom and they keep letting me down. This should be a good matchup. Burnley have the highest possession, but Baggies have the most possessions won in the final third. Can they set up to make Burnley's big strength a weakness? Maybe, but look, I'm not going all in again. Draw Rotherham v Watford. Now, deadline day might make this one a bit of an unknown quantity. I was at Watford on Tuesday to see an outstanding João Pedro performance and another Ismaila Saar goal. I'm sure Rotherham and Watford fans will be understandably split on the destination or not of those two players. Miller's lost at Sunderland after their great start. Can the Hornets stand up to that bustling midfield and strong set play game? Regardless of the star strikers, I suspect... They can. Away! Blackburn versus Bristol City. Fifth versus seventh in a battle of two teams trying to keep pace with the big boys mobilising already in the top four. Bristol City are in rather fine form. Five wins in seven in all comps. Blackburn, they're spotty, aren't they? Three wins, three defeats, but they won their last game. If it was at Ashton Gate, I think I'd be behind Bristol City, but as it's not... I can't quite separate the two. Draw! Reading versus Stoke. A lot of conflicting information on these two. Reading were, of course, top going into the midweek after three straight wins and clean sheets, but they got hammered 4 0 at Sheffield United, the second time they've lost by that scoreline already this season. Stoke sort of got the new manager bounce, but despite all their shots and high XG, had to settle just for a late equaliser. Could go totally any which way. So, sorry, I'm on the fence again. Draw! Your support for the channel means the world, especially in a three-game week containing transfer deadline day. Hit that thumbs up button to like the video and stop my head spinning quite so fast. Middlesbrough v Sunderland. Narrative ahoy with Borough legend Tony Mowbray now in at Sunderland. The Black Cats got a lovely bounce against Rotherham. Jack Clark on fire. Ross Stewart banging the goals in. Borough are just such an enigma. They make tons of chances. Wingbacks Jones and Giles in particular should be superlative looking at their numbers. They've bolstered the attack now, but they're still not winning. I'll back them again because I think this is going to click. But Sunderland are absolutely not mugs in this one. Home Swansea versus QPR. Swansea still just the one win this season and succumbed to that late equaliser at Stoke with a vital win fingertips away. Feels like a very straightforward thing to say, but these two QPR players do look capable of damaging anyone 
at the moment. Willock tops the division for goals per 90 and Chair has already accrued six goal contributions. Swans could, of course, click, but at the moment, I trust the QPR star power a little more. Away! Preston v Birmingham. The outrageous Preston run continues. They're still undefeated and keeper Freddie Woodman has now kept seven straight clean sheets since arriving in close season. Birmingham have tried to pep things up squad-wise already before the window finally closes. Whether that comes too soon for this one remains to be seen. I'm going with the absurd defensive run to continue then. A North End clean sheets which could well be the platform for another win. Home! Luton versus Wigan. A Wigan fan asked me after the last show if I predicted them to win as yet. In truth, I can't remember. But if I hadn't, I would have only been proved wrong once. Just a solitary victory thus far for the Latics. Luton, they look like they're about to move in the right direction. Win, draw, win has put them on the edges of the top half with them at home. At the Kenny, I'm sorry to say to that Wigan fan, but I think they might be in the top half after this one. Home! Huddersfield versus Blackpool. Now, both these two lost in midweek, although prior to then, it was Blackpool looking a little stronger. Not much in this at all, in my estimation. Looks like Blackpool are creating a little bit more. If they can deal with Huddersfield's home advantage and their set pieces, there could be something there for them. But can they? I'm not entirely convinced, but it feels like I need to throw in somewhat of a wild card for these predictions. So go on then. Away! Millwall versus Cardiff. Now, if this Steve Morrison derby was being played in Cardiff, this would be relatively straightforward. Cardiff decent at home, Millwall not so much away. The fact is, though, it's the other way round and Millwall really need a bounce back. Puts me... Quite heavily, I have to say, in the Lions' corner. We've seen streaks before with Gary Rower at Millwall. He really won't want this one to go any longer. Morrison would love to take all three for Cardiff, but I'm on the Lions. Home! Get involved down there with your predictions. The best comments we get are when we have people going through the whole list and predicting every game. The worst ones, I hate to say it, are people who don't put a single forecast in and then have a pop at something someone else has predicted. Don't be that guy. Four out of 12 for me then in midweek. Really poor show. Wins for Sheffield United, Norwich, Burnley and Bristol City were bang on. But I was all the way wrong. 180 on Blackburn and Preston to lose. So big up those two for proving me wrong and getting wins. If you want to examine the evidence and hear exactly what I said in my last set of predictions, then click here. Or why not click here to have a nosy and see how my trip to watch recently promoted Nottingham Forest take on the might of Manchester City and Erling Haaland.